Hello guys, welcome to The Journeyman. We are here, another episode. I said at the start of this season that I was going to do everything I could to keep Davide Frutezzi and Fulham in the Premier League. It turns out it's actually Davide Frutezzi who's doing everything he could, uh, he, he can to keep us in the league. Let's watch some highlights, okay? Firstly, Brighton game. 1-0 down, late on. I trust Donoma, I trust him. He does that. Disgraceful, we lose 1-0. The gameplay lately on this channel has been pretty dull, okay? I apologise for that, blame my teammates. The most exciting game of the season takes place. As you'd expect, it's the home game against West Bromwich Albion. We race early on into a 2-0 lead. None of the goals by me, but that's fine, you know? We go into a 2-0 lead. West Brom peg us back, it's 2-1. At 2-1, they win a free kick, they put it in and this happens. The first time the journeyman himself has ever scored an own goal. Again, probably couldn't do that a hundred times if I tried to. I was just clicking to clear it. It goes in. Late on, we move forward as a team. 88th minute, Harasslin has obviously come off the bench for Cavallero. Onoma makes up for his early mistake and it's a good goal. It's a 3-2 win. A great game against West Brom. I was suspended in said game. Couldn't play the next game. 2-1 win against Sheffield United. Fratezzi got both the goals. That leaves us in 12th place. We're already on 22 points and importantly, we're building up a gap from the rest. You know, the table is separated. As you can see, there's a clear distinction between the top of mid table, Brighton, Newcastle and me, and the lower mid table, Villa, Burnley and West Brom. Everton and West Ham and then the, the three teams going down. I mean Southampton. I mean South What are you doing, Southampton? Absolutely embarrassing. So I mean safety's pretty much already guaranteed, so we'll start getting through the episodes this season a little bit quicker. The one other thing I wanted to touch on, a terrible run of form Benedict Tony is on at club level. You see, 18 games, 10 goals, you think that's quite good. That includes international games where we've got five in two. So really at club level, we've got five in sixteen. Which, I mean, it's not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. It gets worse when you remember we scored one, two, three, four, four goals in the opening five games of the season. Since then, in 11 league games, we've scored one goal. Benedict Tony needs to start turning this around. There was no skit today, but I understand this has been quite a long intro. I've bombarded you with information. The key figures, Fratezzi is king. Benedict Tony is letting himself down. Let's form these things and win some bloody football matches. We are up against Newcastle today. Newcastle, why are you pet? Okay, um, well this isn't good. And we've won, we've won two. What's happening here is we are getting Premier League safety done by the time it's even January and they've just stopped playing me. The whole narrative for this season was that Benedict Tony is going to be the white knight. He's going to save Fulham and then ride off into the sunset. What's actually happening is I'm hindering them. They've left me out for a bit and, and we're now probably safe. 25 points is probably enough to keep you up this season the way it's going. Okay, guys, this is... <laughs> I'm 84 rated. I'm the best player in the team. Ha, 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 ha. Fratezzi missed a penalty, okay? So that's not funny. Fratezzi scored, so he did his bit. We've dropped points to Southampton. Roll up the sleeves, people. Benedict Tony's back in town. Cavanello starts, obviously. He'll be subbed off around the 65th minute for harassing. Other than that, it's the team you know. But this is a big game. Why? People have won gold medals in this arena. Oh, and it's snowing. It's a Christmas miracle. Benedict Tony back in the limelight, back in the squad on a snowy day in London. The frustrating thing is I sit here wanting to play and I think, no, I won't. we won't play because we've got Newcastle and Southampton coming up. There'll be fun games to do on camera. And I just don't get picked. So it's like, oh, okay. It's quite hard to see the ball, isn't it? It would have been nice if they just gave me the orange ball, considering it's snowy. When we first got to the Prem, as I say, I got four and five, was smashing it up. Fratezzi was nowhere to be seen. I thought, here we go. I'm finally, you know, solidifying myself as the alpha male in the uh, relationship. Not anymore. We've got a free kick. I can't wait for them to put this miles over my head. Yep, every, every time. Every time without fail. LaCroix! LaCroix the boy! That can't be the same LaCroix from season one at Kievo Verona. The worst player we've ever had on the journeyman. That cannot be him at centre half. I refuse to believe it. There was even a little LaCroix fan club at one point, season one. Onoma. It's a good ball. Cavanero. I mean, look, 
I don't like digging out my own players. But Cavanero, time and time again this season now, has done stuff like that, which doesn't even make sense. Tony, Fratezzi, one more if you want. Oh, I should have let Fratezzi go alone. I should have let Fratezzi go alone. Just waste the pass. Tony, through ball. Cavanero, oh, how does he sky it so much? Whipped into the back post. Holland to the side netting. Cavanero. Cavanero. Subbed off. What minute is it? Cavanero for harassing. Same as every single game. 60th minute. I mean, come on, Scott Parker. They know you're going to do it at this point. Oh, I tried to hold it up terribly. Absolutely terribly. Back heel to Okariki. I've got space in the middle. He hasn't crossed it. Fratezzi to Tony. Blocked. Okariki. Saved by Gabri Pestal. Corner kick. Tony's up. Cissé's up. Just wide. Tony, a little bit of hold-up play. Dinks it off to Fratez. Oh, I've, I've cocked this one up. Decision-making this season. You know, obviously, not scoring goals has been the big problem. But decision-making has really let us down. you got time, son. you got time. Harassling over the crossbar. We can, we can beat West Ham today. Ten minutes to go. Come, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing us up to attacking. I'm making the call. One more chance, maybe, but we're leaving it late. We're leaving it very late. Tony to Fratezzi. It's gone back to me. Fratezzi! 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 Always! This man is the most clutch player on earth. I thought we'd squandered it. Oh, he's sliding in the snow on a one-horse open sleigh. Davide Fratezzi scores the winning goal when we play. Hooray! Look at this. Battling. It was some scrappy play. And he fights through for Tezzi. My God. It's a win. It's a win. It's a win. It's a win. In terms of the next game we play, Spurs is next on the calendar. But, I mean, we very recently played Spurs. So I feel like it's pointless to play him again so soon. Let's do the FA Cup against Stoke. Why not? A bit of FA Cup football. Mix it up. 4-1 loss. Here we go then. Obviously, last year, Benedict Tony kind of built his legacy at Fulham with a great performance against Liverpool in the FA Cup. And then, you know, made it all the way to the quarterfinals, destroying Mansfield on the way. At this point, this is like one of those rubbish rebuild videos. Who are we rebuilding? Ourselves. Piece by piece, starting with the heart and self-love. Need to start showing a little bit more of that. We're up against Stoke. So another snowy day at Craven Cottage. Bit of twisting and turning. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you go straight back to me there? Oh, for God's sake. I'm having a nightmare. I am having a true nightmare this year. Good football for Tezzi. Holds it up. Through to Benedict. Come on. Off the f Come on, man. Well played, Cosa. What a player he's turning into. Oh, Jesus. The classic Benedict Tony turn across the keeper. Oh, it's gone that right. I didn't even mean to put it there. Two big chances now this game squandered. We've gone out wide to Fratezzi. I mean, if that had come off, it would have been one of the best one-twos of all time. Oh. Apoku. Kirk. To me. To Campos. Straight at the keeper. Go on, Harassling. Go on, Harassling. I know you've got legs. I mean, they've, they've got a lot of space on the edge of the box here, haven't they? Thompson. Oh, it's a lovely one-two. Good save, Sherpin. I mean, it's game over. It's game over. We've drawn to Stoke. Is this going to go to a replay or extra time? That's just it. A nil-nil with Stoke. My God, I don't know what is going on with us lately. We're not playing well. The team aren't playing well when we play. Maybe ourselves and Fulham need a fresh start. We've got four bits of news. Transfer offer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Real Madrid. I mean, see, this is... I don't want to rant. I feel like this has already been quite a long video. But this is the problem with career mode. We're not on good form, okay? We're not. It should be programmed that Real Madrid of all teams do not come in for us when we're not on good form. Because it just doesn't make sense. It destroys the realism of the game for me. We really should, and I've said this before, be able to have an agent on this game. And I can say to my agent, I will be happy to join any club playing European football in Italy, Germany and France. And then the game says, okay, 
these clubs will now be more likely to come in for you. It shouldn't just be you're above 82, so if you want to go to anyone, guess what? You go into one of the best clubs in the world. Because, I mean, that's not fun. Some people might find that fun. I want a career mode where it takes me ages to get to the top. That's the whole point in all of these. It was the point of last year's journeyman. It was the point of this year's journeyman. One where I don't even do that well, you know, I'm so sorry Benedict, I'm going to break it to you, it's not going great. One where it doesn't go that well, yet still Real Madrid come in for us. It's just, the realism element is completely gone at that point. And I don't know if they're ever going to fix player career to make it better, I've heard it's better in Pro Evo, but it's not something I've played before, so I, you know, I can't comment on there be a legend. But my god, it's a real shame, because... I'd love to just do player career forever, but it's tough, it's tough. Sorry to be a bit negative at the end of this video. You, f you wouldn't think I'd be angry getting a transfer offer from Real Madrid, but that's just the way it is. Whilst I have been ranting, we actually simulated two games, lost to Aston Villa in the league and beat Stoke. I'll keep playing. I'll be back with another video Thursday, of course I am. The journeyman's not going anywhere, okay? There's lots of problems with player career, but we're gonna we're gonna keep doing the journeyman for at least another three, four seasons yet, I imagine. We're not even halfway done. Safety is probably probably in the bag now. So there'll be less episodes this season. Um, but we will be back Thursday. Who knows? It's January 19th. Maybe a good team that I want to go to will come in for us. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. Please do subscribe and all that stuff. I'll be more cheerful next time, I promise. Stay safe, everybody. Lots of love from me. Bye-bye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Favanculo. I haven't said that for a while.